Hello, dear viewers. So here's that video. Thank you for the response, you guys. And thank you for requesting me to do your readings. I appreciate the vote of confidence. I really do. Thank you very, very much. Um, yes, yeah, so I had so many requests that I, I'm now doing readings for you. And um, I wanted to touch up on the cup readings. <clears throat> so you guys are going to have to bear with me because I've never done this with someone you know, that's far away or over the phone or via video. So for the cup for now, what I've come up with is that uh, you do the cup in your home. It, I can't do the cup for you. It is, it drains me completely. So it's a lot easier when you make the cup at home. You make your own espresso or buy espresso already made and you put sugar in it. I will link the video on how to do your own cup on this video. I will link it below. So it's best that you do it at home. And so I brought in these cups for you to see what, where not to make or do your tasa cup readings, okay? So don't use a cup like this. Don't use a mug. No mugs. Please don't use mugs. Um, don't use anything like this either. The people will come out. You see, it's too long. And... It just won't give you the proper look or anything with ridges on top. Don't use that. It needs to be white underneath, so nothing dark. I won't be able to, to see the figures if you put it on a cup like this. This is not good either. It'll distort the, the height. It'll distort everything, this cup. It's kind of small and... It's circular, but angular. I don't know how to explain it. Um, and this is the coffee for, this is the cup for the, for the Turkish coffee. And so this is the cup for the Turkish coffee. So don't use this either. It's too small. We're not reading grounds here. This is not the Turkish ground reading for tea leaves. This is something different. I would not use this kind of cup either because it's a very, you know, nice cup. This was a wedding gift. And I wouldn't use this because your cups, don't use anything that you don't want it to get burned or, or messed up or spoiled. So you don't want to mess up your nice silver, uh, china, excuse me. You don't want to mess up your nice china. So don't use anything really nice or something sentimental that your grandma gave you or anything like that, please. <laughs> So ideally, you would want a cup like this. Now this is from David's Tea, and these are the cups that you put the the um you pour in the tea on the of the that goes on the little kettle, and you pour it in here. So this one's great. I love this one. It has a lot of space. It's like almost like a bowl, and you need a cup with a handle. Don't do it on bowls. Don't do it anything without a good handle. Okay. You could do it. This is also ideal. I like this one. It's smaller, but it's almost the same as this, but smaller. And this one fits in there. So this one works as well. So these are just teacups. Okay. And this one works too. I got this at Target the other day. Squash goals. Hashtag squash goals. So this one's good as well. So yeah, that's what you should use. Um, what to expect from the cup readings? Listen, don't expect to get an answer on something on the cup readings. The cup usually just uh, says what it wants to. Like let's say you're, you're just going to do a cup and you want me to read you the cup because you want to know if so-and-so likes you. Uh, th that doesn't usually work on the cup. It just shows you what's going to happen to you. It doesn't... If it does, it, it'll be accidental. You can't do a cup and just say, oh, does so-and-so like me? And then expect that answer to be here. But uh, there are things that will come out on the cup that you will be grateful that you knew about beforehand. And once you get used to the cup, you know what to expect. That's why I'm combining the cup with the tarot. Because the readings that I do on the cup on are these political readings on people that are doing crazy things. But on normal people, usually the cup will tell you um, if you're going to move, if you're, you know, you're going to get money, if you're going to get married, if you're going to have a baby. Um, 
even bad things, you guys, like, will you be getting into an accident? All these things pop up. Will you be going on vacation? You're graduating. All these things pop up. Will you have a child someday? All these things pop up. You own a home. So that's what kind of you should expect on the cup. And not everything will come out the first time you ever do a cup reading for you. Okay? So, you know, little by little, you will learn what to expect. And once you guys know what to expect, then for the people that uh, I've done readings before, if you wish to just do a cup reading, then I can work that out where we just do a cup reading. You don't have to do the tarot reading and vice versa. If you don't want to do a cup reading and you just want to do the tarot, we can do that as well. But for now, I want to do a combo because I know that not many people in the world know how to read the cup. And I know you guys are asking me, can you teach us how to read the cups? I don't know when it's a man or woman. If it's how do you know if the person's dark? How do you know the person's light? And it hit me yesterday that how do you not know if it's a man or a woman? It's very obvious to me. If it's dark, if the person's light, if the person's tall, if the person's short, if it's an older person, if it's a younger person, I just see it plain as day. But yeah, the people in my family tell me that out of my generation, I'm the only one out of so many in my family that knows how to read the cup. I mean, this is just... There are very, very few people that know how to read the cup. It would be very hard for me to teach someone how to read the cup. I can give you... Uh, like, remember when I mentioned the chili peppers? I can show you that. I can show you where there's, you know, when there's money. Like, what money looks like. What documents look like. Uh... But for me to make you see what I see, it's going to be very difficult. But yeah, we can give it a we can give it a try. I mean, if you're interested, I'd never. No one ever taught me. No, my mom never put me took me aside. My aunt never took me aside. I said, oh, this, 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 this. I just read, like looked what they were saying and doing, and then I would do the cups for myself, and I learned, and I learned from a very very young age. So to me, it's perfectly natural. Sometimes uh, I'll read the cup and immediately know what that means. But sometimes it's a story that you got to weave together and it takes me a while. And since I don't want to waste the time for your consultation, me trying to figure out what the cup is saying, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Zoom uh, request an appointment with you the day before your cup reading. So that once you've done your cup, you take it to where there's good lighting, and I'm going to tell you, okay, where's the handle? And then you tell me, okay, here's the handle. And then you know how I'm doing? Then I'm going to ask you to do that. I'm going to ask you to either get close like this. I'm going to ask you to go far away like that. I'm going to ask you, let me see the bottom. You know, I'm going to ask... Tilt it this way or tilt it that way, and then I'll be recording that. And that should take about five minutes, okay? That should that shouldn't take long. And so then I'll keep that and either look at it that same night or the next day. Um and I'll be ready to read your cup. When you call me when I call you and, and we're at, at Zoom meeting at the conferencing. And so that's that. What else I wanted to say? Oh, when I do the tarot reading and the coffee cup reading, please don't wear anything inside out. Don't wear your bra the wrong way, your underwear inside out. Do not wear a shirt inside out. Do not wear your pants inside out, socks, nothing inside out. Also, do not cross your hands. Do not cross your legs. Okay? Uh, when you do the cup, try to be mindful. Find a quiet place. Do not be angry. If you have uh, a lot of anger, take some deep breaths. Take three deep breaths and concentrate on you. And think of this will pass as well. This too shall pass, like they say. Um, and just try to focus. Try to, to take your heart rate down. Try to stay calm. <laughs> so that I can, you can get the best cup reading you for your resources and for your time. So let's see. What else? Oh, and I wanted to also say when you're doing the cup yourself, when you're taking this the sip of coffee and you do also make sure you don't have your legs crossed, your hands crossed, your arms crossed, your feet crossed <laughs> together. You have to have you cannot have any garments, any garments, under garments or pants, skirt, shirt, 
blouse, sweater, nothing cannot, nothing can be inside out. It'll ruin, it'll distort. First of all, the things will come out that I can't, very little will come out on the cup and I won't be able to read it correctly for you. So that's very, very important. I want you guys to also do the cups mostly on a Tuesday and for me to shoot the video of the Tasa rotating prep on a Tuesday because Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Fridays are the best days to read the cup. That is why I was going to take Tuesday off, but uh, I, I worked out that I, was, I will take Wednesday off instead so that Tuesdays you guys can start doing the cup and I can walk you through that in the evenings or during my lunch break or something like that, or I can take a break. Um, and just walk you through it real quick and then on Wednesday we'll do the reading and that way I have the videos on Tuesday night instead of you know reading um, before I go to bed I'll just look at the videos and take my time while I'm calm and and read your video of the tasa rotation or the cup rotation so that's what I wanted to touch up on and the other thing I wanted to say about the cup is not everything that comes up on the cup will happen right away I remember when I was a teenager, I wanted to know who I was going to marry. And my mom would read me the cup and tell me I was going to get married. And then I, it, years passed and I never got married till I was a little older than I thought I would be to get married. But it finally happened. And so, you know, certain things take a little longer. I remember my mom's cousin read me the cup too, because I was always like, I loved my fa I love and I loved my family. And they, um, the, even the ones that passed away. And since that, my mom's cousin, the one that I, with the story I'm going to say now, she's also passed away. But I remember that she read the cup to me when I was a teenager. And she told me, your house, you're going to have a house and your house is going to be like this, 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 this. The garage, you're going to have a garage on the right side. You're going to have your door. It's either going to be red or uh, blue or brown. She couldn't tell the, the exact color, the door of your house. Uh, you're going to have a fountain in the back. And I was like, what? In New York? I'm never going to be able to have all that. What the heck? That's crazy. Crazy taxes. I wouldn't pay all that. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, oh. And she told me, and back then I only had a dog. And she told me, and you're going to have two cats at some point, two little animals, either two small dogs or two cats. And one, and you're going to have, she even told me my laundry room. One of the cats is going to like getting into the washing machine. Oh my God, you guys. Whenever my cat, my little cat, Shakira, goes into my dryer <laughs> when I take out the, the clothes when I'm going to put the clothes into dryer when I'm going to take them out she comes out like a bullet and she speeds and she goes right into the dryer even silly things like that come out but also really important things I remember one time my mom did the cup and she knew someone was going to break into our home to our apartment and she knew and so we take precautions so those are really good things like uh I don't want to get too morbid, but there's a lot of things that, that are useful when it comes to the cup to know. I don't want people uh, asking me on the cup, oh, I have this uh, deal that I'm going to make with so-and-so. Is this person trying to cheat me? Is this person, uh, this is why I want you to do the reading for me. I need a yes or no answer. Is this person going to cheat on me? Or is this person cheating on me? Or is this person going to steal from me? I don't like that, you guys. If you think that that's how, what the reason for the readings, I know most of you don't. But believe me, you know, when you do... Um, when you're on social media and you do these public uh, videos, you get people asking you things that I am shocked. I'm like, is this person okay? Is this person all right? Because what you're asking me is unbelievable. And also really mean. Like, I want you to do a reading for me. Yes or no answer. And that's it. I don't. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm not the person for you. I don't know if your partner at the firm is trying to screw you out of money. Unless it comes out in the cup. By accidentally. I will tell you, this person is behind your back trying to, trying to take your money. I will say it if I see it. But don't come to me saying the only reason I want you to do this reading is for this and that. And if that doesn't come out then your reading was useless and then you get upset at me that is why i never did these readings i'm also afraid to tell people oh if your husband's cheating on you i'm terrified i hope that never happens to me with someone that i don't know you know so yeah so this is why i never wanted to do the readings because of that 
because people on social media that don't know you take such liberties to stomp on you that I'm very afraid. And also, I don't know, some people may not be well, so they might misinterpret. But yes, I wanted to just tell you that for most of you, 99.9% .9 of you that are my viewers, and that are my subscribers, 100% of my subscribers, I don't have that issue with. Uh, so I wanted to thank you. You guys are amazing and so nice. Thank you so much. I'm just, this video is for people that are not even subscribed that may just bump into my, my channel later on, this part of the video, this section where I'm saying these things. But everyone else that um, is my subscriber has been uh, regal and just ladylike and gentlemanly-like, and I thank you so very much. And I have no worries with you guys. So I can't wait to get started next week. And for you guys that reached out to me, if you don't hear from me, if you emailed me and you can't find my emails, please check your spam or your junk mail because I've replied to everyone thus far. Uh, thank you very much, you guys. I will be doing a reading at some point this week. Uh, I was thinking Devin Nunes. I'm not sure there's so much going on, you guys. But stay tuned. By Friday, I should have another reading up. In the meantime, I'll keep working on the Zoom and the Venmo and oh, and for all my um, viewers outside of the United States that don't have Venmo, I'm working on opening up that PayPal account. So yeah, that's another option for you guys. I should have it done by the end of the weekend. I'm so looking forward to doing the readings for you. I'm not sure if I'll show my face yet either because I really do enjoy my privacy. I, it may be a setup kind of like this, but for the time being, I eventually I'll let uh, people, I will do face-to-face -face readings with you guys on, on the videos, on the conferencing. But for now, I'm enjoying my privacy and I still have trust issues with social media. So I hope you can understand that. Thank you so very much. Have a good night. Oh, and I, I'm always creeping back in the video because I forget something, but... <laughs> okay, one thing I wanted to say. When you do the cup, remember, find the right cup. Look at my link below on how to do your own cup reading. One thing I forgot to mention on that video was you got to dry. Once you wash the cup well and there's no grease in it, you got to dry it. There, has, there can't be no water. It has to be dry. So you're going to take a paper towel and just dry it off now I want you guys if you have an old cup that you use for a while you need to clean it with Ajax or Comet that's my favorite to clean it with because this stuff removes any oils now this is a cup that I did for myself now and I will share it with you this is my cup I took a sip of the coffee of the espresso and I flipped it this is my own cup and I actually put my undergarment inside out just to show you what I mean. And actually, it wasn't that bad. But because I know who I am, I know myself and I know what this stuff, this stuff means. So, okay, so I did it with an inside out garment and with a cup that's not properly washed. And look how little came out. You see, it's all strange looking and weird and everything is like little like spots, nothing is united. Look at the difference that my cup with an inside out garment and the cup that's not properly cleaned out the grease with Comet or dishwasher. Don't use your regular sponge, use the clean paper towel to clean your cup with. I know it sounds like a lot, you'll get used to it and it's no problem. I do this without thinking, 20 seconds in and out. And then take a look at a cup that it has been thoroughly cleaned no inside out garments everything is properly done you see the difference do you see the difference here you see how everything nothing is connected everything is really strange so this this cup will take me I like 20 minutes to figure out what the heck all this stuff means now because this cup is for me and I know what I'm going through I know exactly what it means I'm going to share that with you <laughs> so I always have people come oh, coming over my house and so I'm biracial and I know that uh, next week I'll have my cousin over and she's very dark she's way darker than me so I, know, I don't know if you could tell my mother's niece right here and then her husband over here and then that's me in the back greeting them and then they have like little dots because they're coming from out of state 
those are basically like their bundles or suitcase I guess she's bringing in a lot of things I don't know she's bringing in her suitcases and then she's bringing us like one two three gifts I'm gonna show her this video after she comes and gives me the gifts <laughs> and then that's me me again and then over here I have someone coming in because you see that chili pepper there I have a radon meter and my radon meter is giving out uh, warnings and it's fanning and giving out warnings so you see like it's like a chili pepper and I told you like chili pepper looking things are rare earth mineral situations so I got that and I have the radon issue so I know what that means and then when the guy comes over to you know tell us about the radon thing I'm gonna have my cat probably Shakira because Madison will hide she's all over the guy so I'm gonna have to hold the cat back and then over here because it was all greasy I couldn't tell what it was but it looks like someone that will be passing away uh, but I can't tell because the cup is way too greasy I see someone passing away though so that's terrible so I have to redo this cup and I have to clean it and I have to put my garments right side up and then I'll be able to get a, a better picture of it so you guys make sure you clean your cups when you ready to for me to do the rotating view for the five minutes the pre-reading recording and make sure you have your garments correctly placed and everything clean and yeah so I just wanted to touch up on that be careful when you're heating it and twisting it and putting it in the stove but I I really thank you this is my family tradition I'm very very proud and I'm very protective of it and I appreciate you taking interest and I hope to do right by you I'm sure we will have a great relationship and we, many of us will be friends for life. I really believe that and I hope to help you in every which way I can. I really do. I, I just think you guys are the most wonderful. Thank you so much.